we really didn't deliver this weather just for you. <laughs> but I don't mind it at all. It looks very pretty. Mm -hmm. We don't see this in Malaysia, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. Maybe you can export this. Oh, I'll tell you, I've never lived in California. I kind of prefer it your way. Is it? I think it's pretty if you're inside looking out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let me take a chair over here. We're, uh, these are our home photographers. I see. But the two groups of press photographers would come and we came. Real fire. Yes. <laughs> I was in that one once and they, they had the fireplace and they asked me whether I would like them. So I tried on my own. The whole room was filled with smoke. You did not open the food. That's what I'm thinking. It's in the chimney. You are familiar with such things. We don't have, well, we sometimes have it up in the morning. But uh, normally we have no idea how to open it. These things have little, uh, these have little pumps or little uh, fans that suck the air up because it helps a little, helps guarantee against the backing up of the smoke. If you can hear it, yeah. a little... Uh, we had one experience in the White House in my study uh, last year where it ever we stopped working. Oh, yeah. And every smoke alarm in the White House was set on. We were security windows every direction. <laughs> Has it ever been burned down? Uh, the White House? Has it ever been burned down? also has got a fireplace where you shake hands and photograph us, take pictures. <laughs> you don't stop there on your way back. Uh. No, I'm flying from, from New York straight to Paris. Yes, sir. Because I'm being a visit of uh, France as well. Right. So you will be going home then the other way around. No, I came that way. Oh, you did? Yeah, we came through England and stopped over only four hours in England and then flew straight on to Ottawa. That was 29 hours of flying altogether. Well, that though is the easiest part of the safe jet. East to East was easier. And that's right. East to West, you don't have any telescoping effect. When you're going eastwards, you find the sun disappearing too quickly. When, when we were in uh, Korea,
retired the other day as president and the uh, foreign secretary, Mike, is the, the, the bigger friend of mine, Fred knows him well, with this uncertainty about the country that he loves. He had the Well, it was my pleasure to meet today with Prime Minister Mahatmir of Malaysia. The Prime Minister and I had a valuable exchange of views on international and bilateral issues and found ourselves in agreement to a remarkable degree. We both attach the highest importance to the global economic recovery and believe a more open system of international trade and investment is essential. Our economic upsurge in the United States is helping spark new economic growth worldwide. Part of our discussion focused on trade and commodities, which is significant to the well-being of Malaysia. Prime Minister Mahathir's creative leadership has been instrumental in developing the U.S.-ASEAN understanding of tin. Malaysia shines as an example in many areas. Its vibrant economy, complemented by balanced social development and flourishing democratic institutions, should serve as an inspiration to developing nations. On the international scene, we discuss the situation in the Middle East. Although we have differing views on certain aspects of this complicated situation, we both seek an end to the turmoil that has engulfed the area for too long. We also reviewed the situation in Southeast Asia, where Malaysia is playing a vital role in maintaining the region's peace and stability. Malaysia deserves the world's respect for its continuing efforts on behalf of the many refugees that are fleeing communist persecution. The United States applauds ASEAN's determination in these troubled times. We wholeheartedly support, for example, the program for a resolution of the Kampuchean problem. The unity among the member states of ASEAN is an inspiration for all of us. After my very pleasant meeting with the Prime Minister, I'm confident the ties between Malaysia and the United States are strong and friendly. We can expect increased opportunities for contact between our two peoples on both the official and private level. For our part, we look forward to continuing the dialogue begun today and appreciate very much the Prime Minister's visit. We're pleased to have you here, Mr. Prime Minister. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, my de delegation and I are pleased with the very frank discussions we had this morning uh, with you and your cabinet colleagues. We regard this as a part of a continuing useful and constructive dialogue. Quite clearly, there exists a substantial measure of agreement on a variety of areas. I am particularly happy to note the encouraging signs of economic recovery in the United States, which we consider significant, if not crucial, in ensuring a healthy global economy. In fact, if you were to ask me what, it is, what is it I would want the United States to do with regard to economic policy, my honest and simple response is for the U.S. economy to get ahead and regain its strength. For the healthier and more vibrant the U.S. economy becomes, the better it will be not only for the United States and Malaysia, but all the developing countries in the world. The overall relations between Malaysia and the U.S. are excellent, with both our countries sharing similar values and concerns. And where we differ in respect to perception or policy, I am gratified to note that there is a willingness on the part of the United States to achieve closer understanding and cooperation, such as our present round of meetings. In our discussions, among other things, we conducted a comprehensive and forthright review of the relations between the US and Malaysia, and are happy to find that there is a higher level of cooperation and respect between our two countries. We pledge to continue this friendly and cooperative relationship for mutual benefits. We also took a closer look at a number of important developments and trends in the world, 
in both the political and economic context and discussed what could be done to safeguard and promote global peace, economic development, and political stability. We discussed at length major global economic issues. I am pleased to note that both our governments recognize that in the interest of global peace and stability, it is important for both the industrially advanced and the developing countries to make progress on these major issues. We do not expect hands we do not expect handouts in our search for a better tomorrow. Quite clearly, of the many issues that we have been discussing, aid plays a minor or even an insignificant role. What we look for are new areas of cooperation and collaboration, and particularly in the area of economic and trade interchange to help us in the realization of our aspirations to be a more self relying and progressive nation. Mr. President, I would like to thank you very much for the time that you have given me and my colleagues, and also for the time that members of your cabinet have spent with us this morning. And I uh, would like to thank you for the friendly discussions that we have had. Thank you very much.